Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Well, over the last 48 hours, the market has been somewhat mixed. The dollar index, starting with, which measures the greenback strength against the basket of six major currencies, still remains directionless after taking a short uh, move to the downside yesterday towards the region of 101.15 and rebounded back to 102 now currently hovers around 101.80. This in terms has seen the Australian dollar stage a brief upward attempt to the top side level which was seen around 70.5 to 71 cents and then from there rejects and looks back to the downside and finds support around 68.80 or just beneath there, which it comes around now around 65 to 80. The technicals have remained somewhat negative and therefore could see further weakness into today's session and therefore look back towards this bottom side of the range. If we do see a break under or New York close of 68, 65, 80, that would give further exposure to the downside. Bring in a target around 68, 30 or maybe then to 67, 70. It is viewed that the market is coming to a slight um, pause in its bull trend and therefore keep an eye on the US dollar because if it does recapture the 102 could see a push up to 104 as an initial target. Since the market took the challenge to that top side level around 109 the market is still a little bit mixed however from the New York close I do like the way this pattern is set up and therefore could see further tests towards 108.45 to 108.85 and still viewing the cap roughly around the region of 109.45 to 65. The dolly end was a little bit mixed after initial move on Wednesday when it stabbed that top side level the market reversed very sharply and now looks for direction currently I expect to see further weakness and eventually see a test down towards this level of 126.65.75 and reassess. The technicals are somewhat negative, that does support this view. The pound is soldiering on as I feel the market now claims its target which is around 124. Reassess from there because we may see a little bit of profit taking come back into play here. But the pound has held relatively well against some of the other currency pairs and also with the technicals getting a little bit to the top side here with the RSI could see, uh, as I mentioned, profit taking coming back in and see a slight pause and possibly a pullback to 123 and a half. Finishing up with gold and oil, the market surged higher overnight and now hits its first target around 1931 and from this measured move that I put in a few days ago, which comes from this pattern here, that does expect to eventually see the target reach somewhere around 1950 to 55 area. From there, I anticipate some profit taking coming back into play. The market still respectively holds relatively well, that is above the midway point, which is supporting this bullish case. But I feel the market will get eventually find a possible bear trap at this top side range and eventually see a pullback to the low 1,900. Oil well, was a little bit erratic, couldn't break through the downside support level, which is seen roughly around 78, 50, 80. And from there, the market staged a rebound but still found resistance around the 8140. It is in uh, view that is that it may actually see another test of this top side. The RSI is holding up relatively well but if we do break through the midway point then the level of 7850 could be under pressure. But still like most of the currencies we're still finding a little bit of difficulty of finding a stronger direction in trend so it's just playing within the tight boundaries at present. Well, that's a wrap for the morning. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the interest rate report, and I hope you enjoy the great start to the day.